Alright, welcome back. In the first session, first hands-on session, we created the directory structure of Helm, right? Uh, we learned how you can just start creating the directory and then start putting a Kubernetes manifest. In this session, we are going to get started with the smallest object in Kubernetes. What is that? Namespace? Alright, let's start creating the namespace. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new manifest which is gonna be a new file namespace.yaml now this name uh, of the file could be anything and uh, at the moment we haven't got anything into our cluster it's a brand new cluster so we're gonna start creating a namespace first so first thing first you define the kind right so kind going to be namespace and API version you could just copy the command from the Kubernetes documentation. Since this is the first session, I'm typing each command one by one. So under the name would be first namespace, all right? And hyphen a probably, all right. Let's not complicate. And then we could have labels also. And the name of the label would be demo a probably and yeah that's about it so you've created the manifest for your kubernetes cluster this is which we're going to deploy into the cluster using helm what's the next part next part would be you go to the remember we created something called a charts.yaml right so if i just start what, what do you feed into the charts.yaml it is required for the charts and it is mandatory file to have all the information so that you can run your helm command so the first thing first which you start would be api version of the helm um, and that would be the version of your chart now over here you would define that the version would be v2 probably and name would be helm deployment all right and then you could give a description all right now description would be why this helm chart is used a helm chart for KRS deployment those who don't know fun part Kubernetes is also called as KRS because between K and S there are eight alphabets all right and then you could define type either you can write infrastructure or application as well for now I'm just going to keep it infrastructure and then you start defining version of your application we're going to understand why you use this and then you have a bunch of other information like types, keywords. For now, all of these information are good to get started. So what did we do? We created our namespace manifest. This is which we are going to deploy onto our Kubernetes cluster. And then we use the charts file to define the metadata of our deployment. That's about it. Go ahead and fill in these two files and then we would be good to start off with the deployment this is the minimalistic deployment uh, we're not doing anything fancy we're not going with any application like uh, elastic search cluster apache which you want to do it for your production but this is very 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 basic stuff which you want to learn and start deploying onto your kubernetes cluster i hope you're able to follow this go ahead and write the both of these uh, manifest and then in the next session we're going to start deploying this onto actual kubernetes cluster i'll see you in a while